Hola, um, Gaby here from Crafty Gaby, and today I'm going to make um, clothes and dolls for Halloween. I'm going to make uh, two um, girl wishes. Um, first, uh, you grab these these pieces come in packages. And you just buy them accordingly the size of the head that you want. You can make it bigger or I don't think a smaller it will be good, but bigger you can. And you just glue it with I did it with silicone um, liquid silicone glue, and then I open um, holes from side to side to put a wire to make the hands. Right now I paint it with um, acrylic in skin color. But I'm going to um, distress them with um, a distress paste later on. Um, while I wait for my dolls to dry, I'm going to cut what is inside the doll. Where I'm going to pin all the clothes with a thread and needle. Uh, you will see what I mean uh, later on. Uh, I glue the top and the bottom part, not the sides, the side I rather to sew, sew it on, sew it on. Um, because it's, I glue it, it gets harder and it's going to be for me uh, very difficult to stitch the clothes to the white uh, felt. I do this in both uh, dolls and after that I'm going to um, paint their legs one in orange and one in um, black and the orange one is going to have uh, black stripes like I painted right now I tried to do it with tape but it didn't, did, didn't work very good and I rather to do, do it up by hand It doesn't have to be perfect uh, on the stripes. And then I'm going to paint uh, this piece that is the stand. The I make it like a shoes and one in the same. I'm using the same gamut of color in these in these dolls. It's um, orange and black. I'm painting right now the eyes and well the features of the doll. And the letter are going to paint it with acrylic. Here I'm painting the eyes of the doll and when you paint the eyes remember that uh, always the top part of the eye has to be darker than the bottom part of the eye and I'm doing very thick um, eyeliner because it's going to be witches and also I'm going to uh, do um, dark spots under the eyes to make them a little bit like um, more serious and creepy looking. They don't going to go all the way to the creepy side because they're going to be more uh, to the cute side even that I try to make them like prongy faces and stuff like that.
now that I finish painting the eyes and the mouth, I apply this uh, paste that is like distress paste or vintage and ticking paste uh, to make them a little bit older or darker. It's very easy to apply in, in wood. I always use it when I make um, wood dolls. Um, after that, I apply the uh, the pencil to make the um, dark spots under the eyes, and then I'm going to use my um, color chalks to make the blush. Okay, I finish, finished putting some details in the doll and right now I'm going to apply, uh, submerge the doll in this, just the, the head and after that I'm going to stand them in the little stand that I already painted and they are going to stay there for like a few hours while they dry. after they, they dry I grab my wire and sorry that I didn't do it on camera but just I pass a wire it's like I uh, will say let's see I will say six about five six inch long and I just twist the corners to pretend to make little arms and I as you see here I pass um, the thread through the loop and then all the way around depending on if you want the whole um, skin color all the way to the top but right now I want long slits for, for, for the dolls After you finish secure it with glue and this is the way it look like and I'm going to do this one in color skin and orange. Right now according this kit I cut in this care pattern um, in Halloween fabric. I'm just going to make um, hair on camera because the other one is the same but the skirt changed. The other skirt is uh, just a um, rectangle, long rectangle. I'm folding the, the edges to make it neat and I will just sew it on the doll after I finish uh, sewing the, the edge.
After I finished the skirt, I put it on to see it fit. I, I saw it on hair to make them fit good. And then after that, I take it off and I grab um, ribbon in orange and wrap it through her neck. Sorry, I've been a lot out of, out of um, camera. But I just wrap it through the net and glue it on. And I grab also black ribbon and fold it in, the, in, the, in half and glue it on the, on the sides of the doll, pretending they are going to be asleep, as you see here. And for that, I put first the piece of um, felt because everything glue on easily to the fabric than the wood. As you see here, doing the, not the other sleeve, and I put it like that. And I have uh, already made a little piece of fabric in black with the um, borders fall up. You see them there. And I'm going to sew, sew this to the piece of felt. First, I'm going to do one side and then the other side. I finish that I'm going to um, get this care on and I'm going to grab again another piece of um, ribbon in the same colors the same ribbons and I'm going to attach them to the um, torso of the doll I'm going to fold one in, in half using double side tape You see here um, the ribbon in black, I just put it in the torso of the doll and I sew it on in the back and the one that I fold in half with double side tape, I just glue it on in top of that one. That um, is to complete the dress of this, um, of this doll. Hold it for a little bit and this is the way it looks like. Uh, in the neck I put um, animal, animal dot in black. I don't know, I just cut a piece of uh, wool and glue the hair and grab two um, ponytails. Okay, with these circles I'm going to do the witch's hats. You just grab the, um, I think the first three of the circles that depending on the size they had you want to make but for these dolls I believe the three first circles of this, uh, of this particular uh, die set the circle I cut in half and I sew it on to make like a triangle shape and then I will stitch it to the uh, circle that has the hole in the middle. That way I'm I going to uh, make the wishes hat 
and after that I will embellish them with um, ribbons um, stuff I'm gluing eyelashes on here and I'm going to do it in the other doll too um, with the same silicone glue you know I told you in videos previously to this one that these are uh, doll eyelashes I have the link in my blog um, I also out of camera I paint their eyebrows they don't have eyebrows right now but you see it in the pictures or later on in the video they have eyebrows I was going to um, do wool hair on this doll too um, but I decided to try to uh, color the, the hair to make two different type of uh, techniques I also did it in the back of the hair of the um, of the other doll and after you finish to color the hair you dip it again in in the same um, liquid um, I made this little tiny um, skulls that I'm going to glue in the hat to embellish the hat because she's going to have this is for the second doll She's going to have a skirt that have um, skeletons, little tiny Chinese skeletons. I'm jumping from one doll to another one, I'm sorry. But I glue um, the head of this one and I'm going to glue now the stem. And this all is is almost finished. I need uh, a little detail that I will do in the video later on. Here I'm cutting the skirt of the. You see the difference between the skirts, and I repeat all the same process that I do in the other doll, and she looked like this. And of course, you have to have also eyelashes, as you see, I already paint the, the eyebrows and now I'm going to glue the hat her hat I glue it a little bit to the side no in the middle that way she look um, like she have class and now I glue in the stamp Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of the um, embellishment that I'm going to put in the doll for the first doll. doll. I'm going to make a little tiny bag with a jack-o'-lantern face. I didn't use any pattern for this, I just um, tried to remember when I learned one day when I was, I want to do um, paper bag long time ago and I do it in, in, in later.
I opened little holes and I passed a thread through it and I sew the back into her hand. That way she keep her back. She don't lose it. When I am grabbing this stamp, um, stamp set and I using just the word woo or boo. And I have I grabbed here uh, foam foam glitter foam foam. I apply mod podge to the foam foam with glitter for the glitter don't be scattered everywhere. And I cut another piece of um, cardstock, the same side and put it in the back and I put between those two layers I put a stick in black and now I'm going to glue the border uh, to stick it in the hand of the doll I'm going to grab these two beads sorry I grab three beads I put two between her hand and one in the bottom to give it finish you will see here that I'm pressing the two beads against the top and the bottom part of her hand. I didn't like the way it looked, the face of the jack o' lantern, it looked like, uh, like it was uh, made with a marker. And I grabbed my acrylic black pen and make it a little bit bolder and um, a little bit better. Here you have the two dolls finished. I hope you like it. Um, and remember, it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. Thank you for watching my videos. Bye.